Hi, my name is Michael Udada G, and I have another video for you today. Uh, the last video was a lot and had to be cleaned up a bit. Uh, I'm not going to delete it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more to it to expand on it. But before we go further um, with that video, it's important to understanding your enemy and pulling the enemy's seeds from you. And um, this, this this is really uh, more of an exercise video at the same time. And uh, I'm going to give you a suggestion to do. And how your physical self is also going to be helping your spiritual self. And, it, and it's really your spiritual self helping your physical self, self. I mean, you might think that you're doing this, but it's really not you. If you're resonating with these videos, it's not because you made a willful choice. It's more that the spirit is bearing witness to you and you're in the process of being cleansed and um, and that's what these videos do but all the cleansing can't just be uh, reading and and watching the video you have to participate one of them was the the drawing of the nose well we're gonna have another one here first we're gonna give you to understanding of what's going on and uh, and how to do physical something in the physical that's also a parallel what's gonna happen inside so Let's find out who the enemy is. When we're looking and dealing with, when we're looking at this, we're dealing with, let's say, a narcissist or psychopath. And that's the narcissist and psychopath. And you might be the one feeding them or saying yes to the narcissist or psychopath when you really want to say no. And that's very common. So let me give you an idea what's going on here. <clears throat> What's happening with the with the narcissist or psychopath, which I've said in other videos, they have to feed on lies. And the the head sprouts up, and um, and, and it's like a weed. And, and the Bible actually has the parable of the weeds in Matthew thirteen twenty four, and it's it's very accurate because the weeds. Uh, the weeds were planted by the, his enemy uh, in, let's say, Matthew 13, 25. And while men are sleeping, his enemy came and sowed darnel in the midst of the wheat and went away. So darnel kind of looks looks like the person, but it's really not the person. Or looks, looks good, but it's not. It's actually, it sprouts up on its own. It's planted by the will. It's not, and not your, it's not, it's not planted by man. It's planted it's it's more planted you know another place in the bible says like the devil plants this so now if the devil planted this darnel or fake wheat what it does is they usually soak up all the water in the area and they emulate good they they try and emulate good but they don't the person that's attracted to them and intertwined with them is actually putting the seeds of the evil inside their torso because he lives and operates in the lie and you're saying you're giving up your head to deal with this person you're essentially taking a lie and shoving it into your own body that's what you're doing that's like a seed or you're planting the evil of the weed or the evil of the narcissism inside your body and sometimes the people that are in this relationship they end up uh, not to feel their pain they go hunting for the narcissist and they end up being the narcissist and that's because they took in those seeds and those seeds grew inside them and uh, saying Yes, when you mean no, is putting a block inside the body. Now you have to get that out of the body. And the best way to do that, like, like I said, is to start saying your no, but you have to be no in truth, not no in vomit. And um, other videos earlier you know, cover that in greater detail. So how do we get this weed out of our physical reality that we're dealing with them? Well, the first thing you need to do is get 
the seeds of the weed out of you. Okay? And that is that no now that you locked up in your body. That's why you want to get that no out. So I'm going to give you another exercise. Um, as you get better at the exercise, I mean, it sounds funky, but it'll really work. You go to a park, and when you go to a park or any place, you look for weeds. That's what you're going to do. And as you look for the weed, you're going to pull it out of the ground. And as you're pulling it on the ground, you're going to sense how it feels because you know I have a backyard and and whenever I see the weeds you know I just love pulling them out and just sometimes I could just be walking and this weed just grew and I didn't know it was there for a while but then when I see that weed when that weed now gets my attention I pull that sucker out not do not only is it pulled out I put it in the back of my bed of the truck and has a black cap and I put it there so it cooks okay so God's going to burn it up and by the way it also says that in that parable because in the end uh, at harvest time uh, you know in uh, Matthew thirteen thirty, suffer both to grow till harvest and in the time of harvest I will say to the reapers gather, gather first the darnel bind it in bundles to burn it it's a very refreshing thing to pull weeds and uh, and have observed people when when they come upon a weed and they're like planting and and it like the the face changes when they pull out that weed but now when you're pulling out that weed you're doing two things you're going to consider every time you pull out a weed you're pulling out something that that you took in from the narcissist and you took it in which is also your contribution you're the person that said yes to the narcissist when you meant no so what you're doing now is you're pulling this out of the ground which the ground also represents the torso. You're pulling it out of the ground physically, and you're going to also consider that it's being pulled out of you spiritually. You're not tricking yourself at this. This is not that. Because it's our physical reality is somewhat similar to our spiritual reality. That's why these relationships are spiritual. That's why uh, most of the mental health uh, all the, uh, therapists they don't work because they don't understand the spiritual component so they're going to sit there ask you questions and then you're going to turn into this person because they keep asking you questions because you have an augmented reality you have to remember when you're in this situation you have an augmented reality partially because of the person you're dealing with but mostly because your observation is based on what your position is in space and time is your head in your body is your head uh, is your energy leaking are you fragmented so depending on what's happening in your in your personal uh, connection to the time and space and self and spirit is how you're going to perceive reality in other words, you're creating this part of this relationship because your head is pushed in. If your head is pushed in, you have to get this guy. And it also works with women too, but generally speaking, feminine is more of the torso and the masculine is, uh, is more, the, uh, more extroverted. So it's more to the space, you know, the men try and uh, get away more from the space and the women... You know, they say yes instead of saying no. So go to a park and find the weeds, big or small. And there's plenty of parks. There's plenty of places you can walk around and just find weeds. And a couple of things too. You're exercising, you're moving. And what you need to do is move the body. Because this person, remember, doesn't move. They only move for the work. And they can be workaholics, but that's not for you. That's for somebody else. And... As you do these exercises, as the consciousness builds, the truth starts cleansing you. And, and you know, this is not hokey pokey stuff. This is this is really what's happening. I mean, this is exactly what's happening. Th this weed is putting their seeds in you when you say yes, when you should say no. In fact, that's exactly what happened in the Garden of Eden in my last video. The serpent in dealing with Eve, she and Adam, they said yes. 
Adam said yes when he should have said no. He did not say no. So th the seed was planted. The serpent's seed was planted inside, inside Adam and Eve. And it manifested in Cain. You know, that's the seed of Cain. And, uh, and what's the first thing Cain does is he kills Abel because his, his um, presence his present wasn't good. So again, if we're going to have a inner consciousness of ourselves, which will improve our outer reality as well, we have to manifest that in the physical realm by doing this exercise. And guarantee you're going to have benefits from this. It's just guarantee it. I mean, it's also very empowering as well. So this weed puts their seed in you and you start growing weeds inside. So as your weeds are growing inside that are not yours, you know, you know these weeds, they're growing inside you. What happens is they clog you up because to, to keep that no inside your body it's going to take resources it's going to take your resources energy and it's going to cloud your judgment this all happens when you have these blocks that form from you saying from you saying yes when you should have said no each one of these weeds will grow and actually what ends up happening too is that the torso can also have more weight or feel heavy lethargic and what ends up happening is your body becomes a giant no your body becomes a giant no like a huge no you become so when you start pulling these little weeds out of the ground when you pull them out it's like pulling one out of your body Okay, try it, try it, and um, and see what happens, I already know what's going to happen, but it's it's the kind of thing that you've got to start doing motion, because this person is also stagnated and fixated on that person, so the ways of taking that away you have to break that connection and that connection is is not going to break if you keep saying yes when you mean no so we got to start pulling out those no's do that other exercise with the drawing and and then this will definitely help i'll give you a third exercise which will also help and 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 i know it's very common for everybody to kind of rehash the story of the of the past and the trouble and then you put it in words and you solidify it. But remember, your story is based on this perception. You know, yes, the narcissist does bad things. However, the narcissist is invited. You're, you're, you're keeping that weed to infest your garden. And it's going to cloud the light. Because that's what weeds do. They cloud the light of the plants because they grow faster. So that's what's happening inside your body. So... Pivotal moments in your life that that you remember, what you do is do not speak it, draw it. Draw pivotal moments, even confrontations or whatever, and don't speak, just draw it. And here's what happens. When you speak it, you're solidifying it because it's the will. When, when you're speaking it, the will is actually saying what's going on and you could be lying in, in distortion. And I'm not saying that you're lying because you're a liar in that case, but you're ending up being a liar because your augmented reality is giving you, your, your light is darkness. So that's what you're going to say, but you don't realize it's darkness. The power happens is when you draw, you it, like you can't cheat the spirit and when you're using your hands to draw it's going to manifest more clarity 
and that's 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 really going to make a huge difference. Uh, I had someone draw for me uh, once their family, and um, I interpreted the drawing, and they had all the players in their life, and how they all interacted with each other, and how they treated each other, and how they understood everything. Uh, she she told me not to use it in. Um, it, because it's very personal for her, but it was so accurate that um, it, it boggles the mind how accurate it is. So draw these pivotal moments, or draw a point in time that uh, that comes to mind. And probably when you're watching this video right now, that point in time has already come into your mind right now. You know, it just clicked because again, that's how the spirit will just send up the information. You know, and, and now the idea, you know, popped into your head, and it it comes up from the spirit, pops into your head, and then when you draw it, you know, you reflect on it. And this is not a one-time drawing. You could draw different events and date them when you do it, and then come back and look at them a bit. And what what will happen is that maybe you'll get a better uh, clarity on how your participation. Could have been like, let's say if you drew something like the relationship you had with this person, you could see your participation in it. No words, just just a drawing. Now, don't focus on making the drawing perfect. Stick figures is fine because stick figures can still tell a lot. If I've had stick figures where someone drew themselves and then when I said something about uh, them not breathing... The second they breathed, they took in a breath because they weren't breathing while they were drawing, all of a sudden they drew hearts and color. They weren't drawing in color until they breathed. But they didn't realize this. They weren't conscious that they were doing this. But uh, once, and again, breathe. Again, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Because, and, and focus on the breathing as the drawing is happening because you, you want to connect to your spirit. Because even though the head is pushed in, like, like in this drawing, you're not connecting to the spirit. Even the head is pushed in there. It doesn't matter. It's uh, you're 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 looking at this guy as being the spirit. That's why there's such a out of body relationship that you feel that you gotta listen to them because they become like your god, and you can't curse God. And that's how this person connects to them as if they're the spirit instead of their own spirit. As you connect to your own spirit and your own identity. The head will come up, and then you'll see in greater clarity. This is this is all for greater clarity, and um, and this works. Oh my goodness, this is going to work. It's just it, it's it, it's impossible for this to not work because it has to do with how the energy is uh, corresponding inside your body. And how it's relating to outside your body. Because remember, if it's all in here, it's bouncing around too. And then when this person comes along, you're looking at them as your savior. That's why the, the bond to these people is so great. And um, a lot of people have the challenge to say no. Because they become the head. And when the head says for the heart to beat, this person beats. Okay? Um, these people tend to have more psychic energy. Because remember, they're not connected to their body. So they're connecting like with waves. How I kind of showed it uh, in this picture. I show all these waves because that's like their antennas. They, they have like this uh, close to psychic ability. That's why they can react to things a little quicker. People that are in this point where they're radiating empathy... You can you you get the thing you, you see how the energy is understanding the energy energies in the torso and the heart of the torso in the physical the, the is the heart when you think about the torso a lot of times you think of the heart as the main thing so the empathy is like the power radiating from that part of the body that empathy will latch on to things that you shouldn't empathize with like movies because it's not reality. But we empathize with them or you get connected to them. Or I imagine these people might be more um, affected by watching movies because they can put themselves right in that role. And, that, and the movies 
really want to sell you a motion. In fact, one last thing. Uh, let me just go deviate. When you when you watch the videos, I know you, you're not. I'm not showing my face because I, you know that's going to pull away from the video. The power has to be in. As as I'm drawing, you could see it. You don't hear me say things like I'm excited every time. You know, I've seen some of these videos, and the person makes 300 videos, and they're excited all the time. So why they're saying that to you is that what they're trying to do is they're trying to create this out-of-body relationship with you so that you are uh, looking at them. They're saying that they're excited. That's tying into your emotion. That's what they're doing. Okay? Um, because this out-of-body relationship happens all the time and it's very subtle and it, and it and all of a sudden you're hooked in the and then now you're just replacing the nar this narcissist with a different narcissist um, or if there's another one with uh this guy is like trying to tell you how to survive narcissism or something very you know they love to give lists like they'll give you like a list because they look at life as a list because that's a rigidity that's a another another way of um of again connecting you not to the truth but connecting you to their, their narcissism these videos are designed for for you to sense yourself more as you sense yourself more the head emerges you could see clearly so i would kind of telling the story to if you got to tell the story because of, again there's some kind of legal fighting or whatever you're fine tell the story but it's not something that you want to have as your um let's say business card because that's what a lot of people do they make that part of their their identity so uh, there's a narcissist that i'm going to talk about and what he 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 did is the the first day uh, i met him he told me his like story about how he was a kid and I'm like I didn't need to hear that. I don't know you for 10 minutes. I'm like I don't care about your story in the 10 minutes that I'm going to meet you that you're buying something from me to know about how you pulled yourself out. It's not it's not necessary and it's only a it's a hook. It's a hook. So when you're telling your stories, keep in mind that could be a hook as well. Because as you tell the story, if you are in this position or this position, the story is augmented reality. It's not reality. I know it's a little tough pill to swallow right now, but I figured after these many videos, that's going to be a good time for that to resonate. And if you do the pulling of the weeds, it's, it's, it's going to be unbelievable and draw out the, draw out the problem. Breathe draw out the problem and when you draw out the problem don't add words to it don't spend too much time trying to figure it out date it and then do another drawing at another date or another time draw out the problem again there's power in in drawing there's power in writing we don't write anymore when you're writing anything when you write this word this is a drawing Every time you draw, you're, you're connecting to your spirit. You're connecting to yourself. That's why the computers are bland. They're not letting you do that. Handwriting is a, is a big deal. And I'm not saying uh, it has to be good. I mean, my handwriting sucks. I mean, I would do script and then I would do, I would do like formal. So I, I could, for me, that's kind of like, you know, the style, the spirit, and <laughs> the blotchiness of the mind combined so your writing is actually pictures that also helps now i have another exercise that you know i'll save that for another video and um i uh, hope this is beneficial to you and uh we'll have another video coming up another thing about the videos i was trying to get making them every day but then um you know the spirits the, you know kind of if i don't if it doesn't feel right to make the video don't make it and that's that's kind of the motto that uh, I'm exercising all the time. So sometimes it could be like one o'clock in the morning, and okay, this is the time to make the video. Um, 
God bless. And, um, and I hope you're getting to better.